Eric and I shot up to Sarasota, Florida, and we're here with Ryan and Jeff taking us on a 26 Andros. It's a 26 Tarpon? Tarpon 26. Tarpon 26, there we go. So we're gonna cruise around the area here, try to get the drone up in the air. Ryan's gonna take us through every bit of this boat and give us all the details, all the information you guys wanna know. So sit back and let's have some fun. start here aft, going from the Mercury VA 300, I believe it's back there. Yep. And we're gonna work our way forward. So Ryan, you know this boat well better than I do. Yep. What are we looking at? All right, so we'll start at the back. We got a power pole, it's like an eight foot power pole blade. Uh, our transom here is a standard. We got a 40 gallon live well transom. We've got this chum box. Put all your nasties or your ropes, what not. It's a great utility feature. Here, this box houses your freshwater, raw water wash down, trash, sandals, whatever it might be. There you go. Uh, it's good to have. Um, With that 300, before we work our way up, what kind of speeds, performance, top end, cruise, are you seeing with that? Sure, this boat will cruise around 32 miles an hour. You're getting around 2.8 miles per gallon. Wow. Roughly around there, depending on conditions, of course. Um, top speed, this boat, we haven't run this one yet exactly, but I bet this one will hit about 48, 50 miles an hour. Very depending nice. on the wind. And I see you got a porter bracket there. Tell us how you, yeah. how you like that thing. Yeah, so the porter bracket, unlike most traditional jack plates, you know, they're limited obviously on setback and then on travel. Uh, this one you actually get a setback. Uh, so you can really dictate how the boat rides. You know, you can really, if it's rough, you can bury it and so forth. If you want to get on a plane in a foot of water, you can do that. I mean, this boat's playing very fast. And that'll, that'll help it out actually even faster. Um, so this one, you know, you can get it, up, I think this one's 15 inches of travel, along with the setback is a huge advantage. So uh, with a boat like this, typically they're used in shallow water is, is a big aspect of the, the capability. So that just enhances it. Okay, very nice. Yep. What do we got here on the deck? Okay, so right here, this is an option. This is a flip up, fold down seat, as you can see. Not all of our boats have that. Um, an important feature we'll go through here is the access. Okay, everybody knows how important that is. So right here, you're gonna have your porter bracket pumps, your, your power pole, everything's easily accessible. Um, if you need to get to a solenoid or change anything out, it's very easy. Um, from here, you have your bilge access. Again, uh, float switch, you got your live well pump, um, you got a through hole transducer. Everything is easily accessed. And then the same situation on here. This, you've got your pumps, power steering pump, you've got your oil, your uh, fuel water separator, and everything else that's easily accessed. All right, the next compartment here is gonna be a storage bin. This goes way up in the deck, you can't really see, but uh, this particularly is great for, um, you know, mask and fins, things like that, that, you know, they get a little wet, it's not a huge deal, but. Uh, Basically a storage area. Just a storage area. See this one has a secondary live well? Yes, it's a 50 gallon live well. This is an option, very popular option. Uh, hardcore fishermen, definitely recommend it. So along with this setup, with the, with the extra live well, we do offer a tackle storage space. Um, this one's not, not equipped with it, but it is something we can easily do. Okay, and then here, this is called our command center leaning post. It's now standard on our 26s. Uh, not only, obviously, is it, uh, is it great for utility and holding rods, but it's structural. So when you have the second station like this and it's getting a lot of use, it's just a, it's a better way to build them. Yeah. Find yeah, it definitely holds it all in place and it makes a good, good extra grab handle on your, Absolutely. on your back Absolutely. here in the cockpit area. And it's just a unique look, you know, a lot of people really enjoy it, like myself, so. I see you have kind of like a, almost like a rhino liner in that blue color yeah. matched on their side of the, of yep. the hard top. All right, here we are at the helm. We've got the double diamond stitching, as you can see. Another popular option. And here we've got a deceptively huge storage wow. area. I mean, we've got three, I don't need to pull them out, but three full-size lawn four. chairs. We got four, four full-size beach chairs on there. My goodness, look at that. So yeah, that's quite useful. Definitely. Especially the, the family that Never has have the too much storage. Absolutely. Again, this is another option that uh, can be modified to your choosing if you want it at all built-in house. Uh, this is the house for some storage. We've got your battery switches in there. If you want to get a little phone charger going in there, you can. 
Uh, we've got the Mercury, Mercury digital gauges, 12 inch Garmin, JL audio head, and then uh, we can go up into the second station while we're here and show you guys how we get in there. All right, here we are at the second station, my favorite spot. We've got cup holders, rod holders, it's easy to fish from up here. Uh, great sight fishing. Uh, if you're into cobia, sight fishing the flats, I highly recommend it. Very popular on our boats is this option. Uh, you do have full controls, throttle, trim tabs. We can, we can put another Garmin here if you'd like, Simrad or whatever you, you choose. Uh, you do have your quarter bracket control as well. So you do have full control up here. Very comfortable to drive from. All right, here we have our center console access. Uh, it's pretty good size. You can put a head in here, it's very commonly asked. Uh, it's not the biggest area, but it'll definitely work. Uh, you can see here the, the, the cranking battery, house battery are stored in here, um, as well as all the electronics are very easily reached. Uh, JL stereo, everything in there is, all your controls are readily available and very neatly wired. Cool, another feature we have here is out of the way when you're fishing and easily popped up when you got the family or taking extra people along. Very nice. Very we actually nice. get that quite a bit. People asking for, you know, if they exist, consoles with no forward bench seat just to open up this area up here. So. Sure. It makes sense to have it like this. I, I think this is one of the things we did really well. Oh, very nice. You don't see it often, but definitely a good idea. So another aspect of our boats that is very well an option that we're asked about a lot is do we have forward seating? And, and the short answer is yes, we do. Um, as utilitarian and, and fishing, uh, friendly as they are, they're still very comfortable. Uh, just depends on how you order it. That is your answer. Yes, we do have a four. And line. you have different variations of this, or is it this full bed, or can you do an open version? You can, however, anything you want. You want. Anything you want, we, we will do it. Um, this is the most popular option, just a full sun bed. As you guys saw at the factory as well, and we'll repeat it again, just looking at the quality of the upholstery. But they do all this stuff in house. The pipe work, upholstery, all is is custom built right there where the boats are being built. So. Pretty much anything you guys come up with, it seems like, maybe not any, everything, but close to it. They customize these and they say everyone is different, which is which is great to hear. We will go to the absolute farthest we can go to make you happy, that's for sure. Um, that's the difference between us and, and you know, typical production boat. All right, so moving on to the deck, we've got our two storage boxes. So we do have three ways you can configure the bow. Uh, but here's large storage, fully gasketed. We also have a secondary area down here. This is where a lot of people choose to put their trolling motor batteries, which is a great place. You can get them out of the head as well. Like we just went through the console there. So it gives you more space by putting them down there. Heavy duty lids. Lock tight. And again, up here, same setup. Good place to put fenders, just anything you may have. We'll make our way to the anchor locker. Large anchor locker holds it in place. Something else, too, that is the access. Um, it's a very large box. This actually holds 600 feet of rope. Somewhere around 32 is your best point, burning 2.8 miles per gallon. So incredibly economical. They have fuel tank options, 80 gallons and 100. Most people opt for that 100. So great fuel economy, great range on this 26 Andros.
drone up in the air and see how the 26 does from the exterior, show some of the running footage, just capture what we couldn't capture inside the boat. our sea trial on the Andros Bulwarks Tarpon 26. We hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoy this content, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and there'll be much more coming soon here at Center Console Zone. They didn't mess that one up.